coming up next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly... All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, he missed with that right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. <laughs> 90 seconds now remain in the round. Nice loop and punch. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. One minute. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Ten seconds to go. The horn sounds for the end of round one. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go. Round two is underway. Not a lot of action, really, from either fighter in round one. Probably a 10-10, given the fact that neither fighter got off at all. Nobody landed anything special. Nobody landed anything with any meaning. These guys have got to get going. Oh, what a he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! Beautiful kick. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down. Oh! Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to, to hold him, him. yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. 
10 seconds remain in round two. Round three next. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Punch over the top. Oh, connects with the one-two. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And he landed the right hand there. 90 seconds to go now. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab, but you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh, he's... Whoa! Oh, diving punch land start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. I'm trying to kick the leg out. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Slips. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice kick. 
we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are good. Whoa! Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, huge connection on the flying knee, DC. Now we'll see if the longer, taller fighter can move in and follow it up. Beautiful body kick. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice punch lands over the top. Head kick lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. Right hand upstairs. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Back to the feet now. Slips the punch. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Just oh, oh. Oh. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world.